Numbers, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. Today's topic is going to be on numbers. Problems in numbers usually revolve around framing complex statements about a single number and you're supposed to find them. Now, these look tough, but in fact they are the easiest to solve and you can get easy marks from them. Now, there's a basic rule to solving these problems. It's called start with x. Alright, let's see how to solve these problems. Problem 1. Find a number such that when 15 is subtracted from 7 times the number, the result is 10 more than twice the number. Alright, so let's start off with an easy one. Now they've given you a statement about x. Alright, now they've said that when 15 is subtracted from 7 times the number. So first write the left hand side. Now 7 times the number is 7x. Right? When 15 is subtracted from it. So 15 subtracted from 7x. The result is 10 more than twice the number. What is twice the number? 2x. 10 more. So plus 10. Now, the first step that you do is after framing this, right, you read your problem statement and find out whether this matches it or not. Now, the problem statement said 15, when subtracted from 7 times the number, the result is twice the number and plus 10, right? Alright, now you frame this. Now, just solve the equation, right? 7x, 2x, so 7x minus 2x is equal to take 15 on the side, 15 plus 10. So, this is 5x, this is 15 plus 10, 25. So x is equal to 25 by 5, this is 5. Right. Let's go on to the second problem. Problem 2. The sum of two numbers is 184. If one third of the one exceeds one seventh of the other by 8, find the smaller number. Alright, now you heard the second problem. Now this is how you started. Alright, you've got dash plus dash gives you 184. Right? Two numbers when added give you 184. Now you would usually use x plus y, right? You would use x and y. Now, let's eliminate y. Consider these two numbers. How about x and the other one is 184 minus x. If you simplify this, x and x gets cancelled, so you reach 184. Is it right? So why do you need y when you can use x and 184 minus x? Alright, so now we can use x and 184 minus x. These are your two values. Now, the next statement is one third of one exceeds one seventh of the other by eight. So now, one third of one exceeds this minus this thing from this, you will get eight. One seventh of the other by eight. These are your two equations. Now solve them. Solve this one now. Take an LCM. Seven three is a twenty-one. This will be seven x minus three into one eighty-four minus x is equal to eight. Alright? Take twenty-one that's it and simplify this. So seven x minus three into one eighty-four. Well, uh, that is 552, okay, plus 3x is equal to 21 into 8, that is 168, right, 7x plus 3x is 10x, take 552 on that side, so it is 168 plus 552, that will be 720, so 10x is equal to 720, implies x is equal to 72. This is your first number. Your second number you know is 184 minus 72. How much is that? So your y or your second number would be 112. Alright, now you want to check it out. 72 plus 112. This is 481. So this is your answer. Alright, let's move on to the third problem. Next problem is a very important problem and very popular in most examinations. But before that, let's see this. What is a plus b the whole square? This a square plus 2ab plus b square. What is a minus b square? This is a square minus 2ab plus b square. All right. Now, what if you take a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square? What is that? So it gives you a square plus 2ab plus b square minus a square minus a minus plus 2ab minus b square. Right? B square, B square cancels. A square, A square cancels. 2AB plus 2AB. So this is 4AB. This is a very important rule that is used in many problems. It always appears. Right? Now let's see the third problem. Problem 3. If the sum of two numbers is 42 and their product is 437, then find the absolute difference between the numbers. Alright, now the third problem. Now, you already know this. Alright? 
Now they're giving you that the sum of two numbers is 42 and the product is 437. Now they're asking you to find what is the difference between the two numbers. Now if you already know this, this problem becomes a piece of cake. Sum is what? A plus B. Product is what? AB. Just put these values in here. Right? A plus B is 42 square minus A minus B. This is what you have to find out. Square is equal to 4 times the product. That is 437. Now what is 42 square? 1764. Minus A minus B whole square is equal to 4 into 437. How much is that? 1748. Alright, now take this here and take a minus b, that's it. Alright, so it becomes 1764 minus 1748 is equal to a minus b whole square. Right? So this is how much? 16 is equal to a minus b whole square. Take the root. So a minus b is equal to 4. This is your answer. Easy, right? Alright, so this was just part 1 on numbers. In my coming video, I'll do many more problems. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe to my channel and like this video. I would really appreciate it if you share these videos on Facebook and tell your friends about it. The more response I get, the more excited I'll be to do many more videos. Thank you.